Yeah, bye, Ashley. Big Body Rex is with me now. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at this squad, bro. Do you see the three of us, bro? You know somebody finna die and it's not us. Oh my gosh, bro. You got Rex really... Rex is right here, bro. Glitching, bro. What did you do to him, bro? I can't heal. I can't heal. I can't heal. Is that Rex slept? Rex, you're garbage, bro. Rex, get your ass up, bro. Back to the grind, bro. Oh, God. Here we go with this again. All right. All right. All right. So we talked to uh, Executor Palin, right? He told us basically, I don't f with y'all humans, but you're here, so stay out of my way. Real species type beat. It's all good, though. All the time I'm over here. Uh... Matter of fact, let me show him something, bro. Yo, Palin, why are you sitting here behind a desk looking at holograms? I'm looking at four breasts. Yep, get on my level. I'm out of here. All right, so where were we? Oh. <laughs> Okay. Hold on, y'all. We got a guest to the stream. Hey! My sister's here, y'all. Big Brit. Uh, Sister Easy in the building. We're here. Hey. Let's go. Hey. Let me get ready. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, Let no. me get ready. Hell no. Let's go. Look at the chat. Ooh. Uh. Okay. We just got in today and it's like a been a gloomy day, long day traveling. So we were like, you know, we'll wait till later on in the week. I was like, yo, come say what's up to him. Man, he caught me straight out of a nap. <laughs> Y'all know that gloomy weather nap be something different. Yeah, yeah. Did you eat already? I did. I did. I, 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 I didn't know if I ate your bowl though, but I'm like, okay. I... Y'all remember that story I told y'all back in the day? I don't think I ever did, bro. I think I did. I think it was actually on a video, bro. But uh, I was like, yo, me and my sister were in the backyard one day, just pissed at each other. And we just kept, we just took turns slapping the shit out of each other, bro. I think I started crying first. So I, I think that means I lost a fight, huh? I mean, I was like 10, bro. She had to be like 13. So she had teenager strength behind those, those blows. Somebody said, it's okay to cry. Respect, bro. Thank you, bro. You got some real ones in the chat, bro. It's very much okay to cry. Thank you, Candy. It's just love. Oh, I just love puzzles. No way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Grandma. Hold on, Grandma. Let me, let me, let me let everybody say hello to you properly. Okay. But yeah, literally, you can beat the game quick without having. A real, real quick, real quick, guys. Uh, I just love puzzles. Join my stream. Y'all mind just saying hello real quick? Hey, hey, hey puzzles. puzzles. Hey, we love you. We love you, puzzles. Granny puzzles. We love you. <laughs> Where was I? All right. Let me check my journal. Uh, Granny puzzles. We're just over here playing this space game. It's called Mass Effect. Basically, I am part of the uh, military of humanity, right? In the future, where we are also in unison in the universe with other alien races. I've been framed, right, for a, a crime, and I'm trying to prove my innocence. And um, by doing so, I'm interacting with the other uh, space life, right, that takes place in the future. More than anything, I'm just surprised at how possible some of these things looked by the uh, by the technology that we already see in real life through this game. So, yep. These are my two honeys too. You know, you gotta keep me a snow bunny just in case I get thrown in jail. And yeah, this 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 is where my legacy. This is where my legacy is. So more than anything, I'm protecting her womb because you know, her not so much. She's more like a bodyguard side piece. But this, like, I'm, I gotta protect her womb. So anybody like aiming their gun lower than headshot, I'm more concerned about because she's a robot. So I can repair her brain. All right, so who do I talk to in here? You should be with the ambassador. Pro oh, no, 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 we're doing this one. 
So C-Sec Academy, is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, no, no, here we go, here we go, here we go. I gotta speak to Bosker. Yo, Bosker. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's, she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha, <laughs> I bet you did too. Y'all conversations sound horny. Nope, can't can't do it. Can't do it. Here he is. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Um, I'm here for the homie Samesh. Or should I tell him stop stealing corpses? He's not gonna stop just because I tell him to stop, bro. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. You totally Since can, bro. Rali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Right. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So she's been mauled. You're running tests. She's toxic. I say, bro, are you running tests on her? You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Respectfully, he says. I'll tell I didn't mean to say that. For him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nah, I'm about to. Please I'm about to know if you have any other questions. I'm restart. I'm reloading my save, bro. RDC chat donated a, do a dollar and said that new laugh of yours is crazy. But on the real, the chat seems more mature these days. W. Okay. Hey, bro. Well, I guess we're all evolving together through the game, right? Mass Effect. We've all come to the same conclusion that we got to stick together. Now, chill, y'all. Chill, chill, chill. Bro, I love how, 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 my, how my ladies just turn around on go like that. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. We know. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the dip. Yes. Her wounds are inconsistent. Respectfully. Here we go. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. What do y'all think? Do you think that she deserves a proper burial or do you think we should leave her body to be to, to be researched for guest technology? They ain't gonna find nothing in that body. Let's be honest, bro. She deserves a true burial. Bottom right, some should hear this. Hell no, nah. hell no, nah, bro. Proper burial, bro. The guests have been around for uh, hundreds of centuries, bro. Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. Investigate. Length of research. Let's see. Let's see. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. I mean, that's not... That's not too long, bro. A year? Hold on, hold on. Number of bodies. Let's see how many bodies they have. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. I didn't hear what he said. You've got to have a very lot of few bodies. bodies had this new type of. Oh. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies. When will this research result in actual new technology? Mm. If we're lucky. We'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Nah, bro. You can take somebody else out there, have them get shot by the Geth, take them back inside alive, and you'll be cool. You'll be cool, bro. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I'm doing my part, bro. I'm doing my part. You're betraying the dead. I do, and you're wrong. It's not worth it. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. Fire. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. So that's no, 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 no. We don't need to vote on that. It's hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. That was a great answer. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Bosca rolled his eyes, bro. He's pissed. He has to do this. I think that I think that was the right thing, bro. It's now, what are you talking about over here? What do you here? want? Oh, oh, Commander. Is there something I could do for you? Calm down, Private. This isn't an inspection. 
Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like that he was like, what do you want? And then he saw me and showed respect. That means that like, if it was a regular civilian, bro, you gotta show some, bro, show some respect, bro. Well, get respect if your back's not erect. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you, Private? I, uh, no, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Why are you worried about what he's getting into? Wasn't I the one questioning him? Did you just overstep? All right. Yeah, yeah. You know what you did. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. You feel me? Like, bro, why is she speaking up when I'm handling business? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Let me check my codec, bro. Come. The hell? All modern infantry weapons, from pistols to assault rifles, use micro-scaled mass accelerator technology. I don't care nothing about that, bro. I'm here to talk about the the, the alien races. The get, the assault. Inform Mr. Batia. Uh, okay, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Let's go do that real quick. Mr. Bati, I got good news, sir. Mr. Bati, I got good news. Your wife is free, bro. Go ahead and plan that funeral. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, sir. Samesh? I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams, but thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Nah, 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 You looking at her, but we got the enemy in our sights right now. What are you trying to prove right now? Is she jealous? Like, 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 what the fuck is this, bro? Now she aiming at birds in space. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. His wife ain't never told you about no home cooked meals, bro. Y'all should be fighting crime. Low key, bro. Get on my sh Get on my sh How do I switch, bro? How do I switch? Go to upper wards to deliver it to her. Okay. Bad, 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 bad. You need to go back to the ship. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. When, when it's time, when it's time to leave the city, so much she's, she, she'll never be back off that ship, bro. Wards. Can we get an upper wards? Let's try med clinic. Berlin chill. I'm chilling, bro. I just don't, you know. She need to chill too. She needs to chill too, bro. All right, I'm gonna imagine these are. Oh, oh, she's probably right here then, right where I found her. Yep, there she go. Emily Wong, I got some, uh, I got some juicy intel for you. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. You're welcome. I mean, thank you. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. I need compensation. Here, Commander, thank for you. Your trouble. Thank you. Thank you. I can offer more or you owe me more. Can we? What would my future cooperation be worth? Say an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Ugh. 
Timsky says she wearing that dress. She. Okay. You notice she don't say nothing when I'm talking to Emily Wong. Yep. She already know what the deal is, bro. Where am I going? Hold on, hold on. What's my, what's my next mission? The dreadnought is the don't care. All right, we can level up. Let's go. Resets the cooldown times on your talent so they can be used immediately for sure. What is barrier? Bolsters your shields with a biotic barrier that will absorb up to 400. Yeah, yeah. We need that. We need that. Do we want to start intimidating? I don't think so. I don't think so, bro. That's not my, that's not my style. Throw, throw is kind of fire, bro. I think throw should be like my main priority. And then, you know, Tally, you, you do what you want. There we go. Ashley, I wish I could take your points. Like you've been pissing me off. Let's go journal. So both of these are on another planet. Let's go to C-Sec Academy. Where are the talent for them eyebrows? Okay. Bro, where is C-Sec Academy? Okay, I want you to go to the tower. Penny, Penelise with the dono. Berlin, I donated five. I don't know if you've seen it. I wanted to know if, is the ball still on for February? I got an announcement coming this weekend, but since y'all are here and since you asked, how would y'all feel if it moved to March? So we have more time to clear up COVID. You know what I mean? Like, like, and it's not going to be associated to my birthday, but like March feels like a good month. You know, March, March seems cool, bro. You know, March seems cool, bro. You know, actually low key, since y'all are already here, I think I have the date and I know it's not March. I think it's April 9th. It should be a Friday or April 9th is a Saturday. April 9th, bro. April 9th, bro. April 9th, bro. April 9th, bro. But I do have I do have more announcements coming out. As you see, like I removed all the posts and like videos and stuff about it. Just because like February is still like, you know. Your birthday is April 4th. That's amazing, bro. You talking spring? Oh, is, that, is that spring break? Is that actually spring break, bro? April, okay. Big April in the chat. A April, April 9th. April 9th is actually uh the date. So not for everybody. What's up, Aviana? Um, well, you know, December December 16th was definitely for everybody. But like low key, I still want to try again this December for something else. But like the date is on April 9th, y'all. But uh, again, more official, uh, more official statements soon to come. But now, like, since I don't have it, you know what? It's pretty cool that we can talk about this since it's not going to be like associated with my birthday, because I feel weird calling it like the birthday ball in April. Like, what can we call it for April, bro? Because if it was for March, I was actually going to switch it and make it a masquerade ball called the March masquerade. And I, I felt I was like, damn, that's fire. But since it's April, I don't know, bro. Just the easy ball. I've heard some That's actually kind of fire, bro. Spring fling. Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our home world. Spring Most fling for like we have some freak Nick shit, bro. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might be able to finesse a three right here. They cool now. They're cool with each other, bro. Play your cards right, bro. Pretend you didn't hear that. Let, yep, yep, yep. Let them bond, bro. You stay out of it. The booty club fling? I don't know about that one, bro. Yo, Rex, let me holler, bro. You, human. You the one they call Shepard? Yep, yep. Stand on that, bro. Stand ten toes, bro. That's me, Commander Shepard. Ugh. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. I was just doing my job, bro. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. Nothing to when play. I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. 
So the payment is yours. Bro, if you don't if you don't cut it out. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. Kid boo on my screen. <laughs> bro, bro. Rock, what you're not gonna do, bro, is get on my stream from the Discord on Vanguard, bro. Enjoy your toxic racism, bro. We don't do racism over here, bro. If anything, we do speciesism. Humans up, bro. Aliens K, bro. Salarian K, Terrian K, and Asani, As uh, Asari's, Asari's are welcome, though. Asari's are welcome, bro, because Asari's be having them, them, um, yep, yep, they, they, yep. So, yeah, bro. Uh, matter of fact, because I said that, go ahead and keep talking about Rex. Come. You're a bounty hunter. What do you get out of going after Sarah? I'm not in this for the money. I want to be where the action is. There's a storm coming, and you and Saren are right in the middle of it. Why me? Saren's already got a lot of Krogan working for him. Those aren't Krogan. They're servants. They grovel at Saren's feet to lick his boots, trading their freedom for promises of wealth and power. My people were a proud species once. Some of us still remember that. I won't bow down to Saren like the others. Ugh, Rex? Rex the Rebel, that's his rap name. Rex the Rebel. Yo, Rico, don't come in here talking about talking nonsense, bro, because I guarantee everybody in here understands what I'm saying. You don't, because your 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 intelligence is still um earthbound, bro. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Yeah, bye, Ashley. Big body Rex is with me now. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at this squad, bro. You see the three of us, bro? You know somebody finna die, and it's not us. I'm never dying again with this squad, bro. NBA young boy, never, uh... Man, f*** it, bro. Hold on. Y'all gotta get... You gotta get leveled up, Rex. You go away. I don't care nothing about what you got going, bro. But I will give you a better shotgun. I don't even have one for you. Sorry, bro. You should be there when the ambassador presents the Corian's evidence to the city council. Return to the Citadel Tower in the Presidium. Let's do it. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh, that's the that's the tapes I gave her. Dang, I got her on the on the radio, bro. W good D, bro. Let's get to that tower. Shepard run like, scare me, scare me, scare me. Scare me, scare me, scare me, scare me. Here we go. Your character looks goofy. Why is that the first thing you ever said to me while streaming, bro? Like, that's what Come you on. mustered up, bro? Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Let's go. I can't wait to hear this. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. You know that, Saren. You know y'all here. One step closer to the return of the Reapers. Talk about it. You wanted proof? There it is. Yeah. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Right. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Uh-oh, 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 a familiar voice. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished.
The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Does it matter? It's crazy. I'm gonna say not yet, because I don't know what the hell they're talking about with Conduit. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I thought he just boo-booed, bro. Did you see that shit for... Alright, it was a leaf. Got it. Where do the Reapers go? Um, you doubted me before is a great answer. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. Oh my god. The gosh. Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Right, we had a whole vision. We had a whole vision, bro. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. So they're about, so this guy wants to send me to the bro. The traverse sound like the hood, bro. Like, are we prepared, bro? Like you human, bro. You gonna get jumped, my boy. You gonna get tucked, Loki. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Mm. Let's go, big Spectre gang. Let's get it. Give me my mother rolls. Sync me up. Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh my gosh, bro. I feel like I'm being united by the strength of HB right now, bro. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at him, y'all. Spectre gang. Who the hell are y'all? Oh my gosh, that's right, bro. This is monumental, bro. Hall of Fame, bro. Spectator. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Oh. I, got, I gotta put on for humans and say about time. I have to put on for humans and say about time, bro. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at Shepard, bro. He wouldn't have got this far with eyebrows, bro. Like, look at him. He belongs, bro. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the council is adjourned. I'm so glad Ashley's not here for this to hate on me. Probably trying to spit game at one of these two Congratulations, men. Congratulations, Commander. 
We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Oh my gosh, bro. Getting achievements? Let's go. Talk nice to me. You gotta talk nice. Bastard didn't even thank you. Right? He sees it. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. Oh my gosh. The fuck out of my way, bitch. Excuse me, Queen. Excuse me, baby. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why she run like that in front of the stream and make it weird, bro? My, my bro. What are you on? It's just standing there. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Stop, y'all. I don't want to hear no none of that shit in the chat. Stop. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Yeah, you following the keepers, bro? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers. Stop. I've got no interest in the keep. Don't lie to me. I can smell your fear a mile away. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Bro, relax, bro. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. But the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I'm a I don't even know who you are. I'm a Spectre. Don't worry about it. My name's Shepard. I'm with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. A Spectre? Well, nobody would dare stop you. All right, then. <laughs> the ICF, you need the this. police. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yeah, go ahead and give me all my money for this guy, please. Quick 50, quick 50, uh, 50 increments. Just stacking increments, bro. You know how I do, bro. I hope he's okay. Oh, I, I think this was a side quest, bro. Something about yesterday, actually. I'm on a break. Okay, and Talk I'm a to Spectre. someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Yeah, what's going on with you, bro? I'm a Spectre. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? Spectre. You ever head out to the Traverse? Um, yeah. The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Hmm. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Sure. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I said, Mr. I'll Bean. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon bro, as. Bro, Mr. You find Bean him. had hair, bro. That's that's Packer from uh, okay. um, you know what I'm talking about, bro. Now Berlin, shoot him. What game are y'all playing? Are we playing the same? Sh <laughs> I just said that's a muffin eraser. <laughs> I 
Yeah, the office, exactly. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. That's a fire thumb right there. That's a fire thumb. Tally kind of bad. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you one time, bro. Uh, Tally has eyes for me and me only, so I'm going to need you to slow your roll, bro. Find you your own. All right. There's a million Asari out here waiting for you to talk to him, bro. And you talk and you talking to my mother um um Promethean, bro. Like Hold on. What is her what is her called? Mm. You talking to my Corian, bro. Get off my queue, bro. Off my QT, bro. Like that's mine, bro. Look at, look at bum ditch in the chat. Talia's so bad, bro. A Solarian excavation team Listen to how you sound talking about my, my, my woman, bro. I'll really shoot you in the out. Bro, have blockaded the dig bro. Site, if I saw you in person, bro, this is what I'm doing to you. Them, should not be disturbed. First thing I'm doing, I'm making eye contact with you, right? Then I'm throwing a wave at you. So now all your shields is ripped. I'm taking my right hand throwing a throw at you so now you flying 50 feet across the bar everybody's looking and laughing at you i look at my qt and i say yo baby you want me to stop or you want me to continue she's gonna talk to me in robotic uh robotic telekinesis that you aren't even a high enough level level to process she's gonna tell me to continue i'm gonna walk over to you pull my pistol out two headshots and i'm gonna leave it for the terrians to clean up Fuck the terrians humans I look in the chat. Karatean said she's not even real, bro. If she's not real, then why does she have every <laughs> chat acting up, bro? Everybody want a piece, bro. I'm willing to. Are you willing to die over it? Cause I am. I'm willing to die over that CPU box. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had phony bone with the hundred bit said Tally is a whole alien. Her coup probably in the center of her back. Like y'all some freaks with it for real. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Curly Cactus said, that means back shots for real though. You know I'm a specter, right? That's right hand to the council, bro. I'm not even finna get on. No, 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 no. You trying to bait me, bro. You trying to bait me, bro. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of sad, bro. We put a f dent in this one, bro. It's not sad, it's not sad. I'm not driving, right? Nobody's getting hurt. I'm enjoying a, a space game with my with my community, bro. Oh yeah, about 30 minutes, bro. About 30 minutes, bro. Tally, Tally finna, tally, bro, yep. Oh, I got new missions. Scan the keepers. Okay, I got three out of twenty. Damn, twenty. That's that's a cool um um that's a cool thousand. That's a cool thousand caps, right? Am I doing my math right? Yeah. A man named Gareth asked you to look for his missing brother. Gareth fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while traveling through the Strenuous system. Go to the Strenuous system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster and search for the signs of Gareth's brother and his ship. So all of these UNC missions are going to other planets. Okay, you've proven Saren is connected with the Geth as a reward. The council has granted you Spectre status and commissioned you to track the rogue Spectre down. Okay, so now I got to go training at the CSEC Academy. Perfect, which is downstairs. Yep, I knew that. Your character looked like Miles Morales in the head. Bro, this is a grown ass man, bro. 
green squares for uh, four on the minimal, bro. In courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, Let's Serviceman go. Bhatia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. The green squares on the mini-map are stores. Okay, okay. So these are the stores you're talking about, right? One sec, looking you up. It's Big Spectre. Look up the Spectre uh, section. That's where I'll be at, sir. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? I'm also a Spectre. How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So. Will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Will Shepard? William JG said, I want Rex to toss my salad crazy. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Well, yeah! I didn't know about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Hey, it's all good, bro. Recently adopted. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. If I would have came here before, he would have been selling me some bull bro. Look how much this cost! This feels like Fallout 1 all over again, bruh. I don't have enough for anything in here, bruh. I can buy two things, and it's an upgrades, bro. For the Normandy Quartermaster... What? Aldrin Labs license for the Normandy Quartermaster. Get that out my face, bro. Oh, 50 ducats. I look in the chat. Frank Lockwood, broke ass. Bro, you a fucking hater, bro. I, 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 bro. Bro, hold on, though. hold on, though. Is it because since you pocket watching, let's talk about it, bro. So I got, um, let's, let's see here. So right now I got almost 3,000, 3,000 increments. Um, feel free to take a picture and upload your to Twitter real quick, bro. Let's, let's talk about your, your bag, bro. I'm trying to, uh, bro, 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 bro. How do I start my training? Hello, I'm a specter. Hello. Hello. These questions are centered around Berlin and the gang. Y'all enjoy yourselves in the chat, bro. I need to find out how I continue. Nope, nope, nope. This is how you leave. Nope. That's that's kind of cool. Y'all can just do polls like that in the chat. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Decryption skill too low. It's all good, bro. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorbin, he's threatened you? Well, no. Uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. Excuse me. Spectre's I... here. Spectre's here. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard what you was, you was crying for your life. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me. And I thought we were friends. Dr. Robotnik body ass. Anteater face ass. What are you talking about, bro? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Rufus Kim Possible body ass. Naked roll mat. Naked mole. Naked roll mat, I said. Bro, that shot is 
I'm getting cooked. I don't care what anyone thinks he wants me gone. Uh, how can I help you, bro? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. I got you, bro. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him, bro. I'm not about to just beat his ass. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Okay, so so he's also Aquarian. The Salarians look like salamanders, slippery snakes. Rex is a Krogan. My baby right here is also Aquarian, so so they're related somehow. Um, humans. We got Turians right here. And I think that's everybody, bro. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting this down. Take your helmet off, bro. You're indoors. You're indoors. Take your helmet off. Take your helmet off. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna leave my helmet on because it's probably like new, new, new air I've been around. So, um, go ahead and throw my helmet on. Let's continue walking though. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing, bro. The ambassador will provide you with the ship and crew. Meet him at the Alliance docking bay accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Oh, I'm tripping. It's this elevator right here, but low key. I'm gonna go to the wards first and help out my boy. Like why, why is it? Why is in Why is Chobin trying news, to kill my Francis boy? Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. Hamlet? The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Why do y'all think that plays like Hamlet from back in the day? Still get talked about today and get talked about in the future through this game, bro? Like, why is Hamlet... Why is Shakespeare such a figure, bro? Do you think there's anything that humans have done in our lifetime that can be seen long lasting like Hamlet, bro? Do you think Drake music gonna last the time, the, the, the test of time like Hamlet plays do? I mean, that Shakespeare plays do, bro? Because of racism, to be honest, Raja, talk about it, bro. That's actually, a, that's actually a great answer, you know? But e even like, bro, I'm trying to think of like, Bro, nobody, like, maybe Michael Jackson. Maybe Michael Jackson, bro. Michael Jackson songs might. Drake's music is eternal. Cardi's music? Absolutely not, bro. Y'all gonna get to about 25 and be like, you know what? I need more than this. You, you, you gonna reach 29 and be like, you know what? Matter of fact, talk to me. Please talk to me. Please talk to me. Right now, y'all are young, bro. So it's like you be in high school singing that shit happily, proudly. It's like, bro, no, nobody want to get talked to in high school, bro. 29, please talk to me. And it won't even be rap, bro. It's going to be an acoustic, acoustic cover, bro. Please talk to me. Please talk to me. Lower markets. All right, man. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to find the markets. I'm going to help out my boy because he's Aquarian like my wife. And then I'm, I'm going to head to the ship and we'll be out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck is going on in here? Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. 
I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are- Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. Press him, press him. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. He was about to try and smoke this dude, bro. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. Uh. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? Oh, who do you trust out here, bro? You working for a company, you thinking, oh yeah, they gonna follow the mission statement. No, they over here trying to do some sneaky. What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Bro, I don't want Jalid to die, but like... The keepers are like, bro, aren't they like the most ancient race of people? We should keep scanning, but I don't want bro to die. I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole, or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Waffle, you hitting them with some hard-hitting questions, bro. I don't even remember that one. What was the name of Berlin's character in Grounded? Corey? Bro, shout out my boy Corey, bro. Shout out Corey, bro. Damn, I can't even get the 50 ducats off, dude. I need a map of this place. I don't know where I am. I think I'm getting close to, to homie though. I know where I am actually. I make a right and then I make a go up the staircase. Right? Celebrations are being planned. Never for the mind. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. You a bitch. You idiot. This is serious, Jalid. You could spend the rest of your life locked up. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? Too late, Volus. You had your chance. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Nah, I, I don't want to arrest him. I do not want to arrest him, bro. Why did I even join this? Man, y'all should have told me the truth from the jump. 
y'all. I can't let your actions go unpunished. No, please. I'll do anything. I've got credits. Let me go and you can have them. All of them. What's going on over here? Is this Volus causing you some trouble, Commander? Bro, I'm a specter, bro. We're good. Stay in a <laughs> civilian place. Everything's okay, officer. Thanks for asking. If you say so. I'll be right over here if you change your mind. Thank you. That was too close. You got to pay me, bro. You have to you have to drop that bag, bro. Now you can return the favor by filling up my bank account. Talk your talk, Spectre. Oh, right. There you go. That's just about everything I've got. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Whatever, don't care. Don't talk to me no more. Just go. $250. Oh my gosh. That shotgun was six figures. What do you mean I ruined it, Glove Love? What are you talking about? By the way, that name is crazy, bro. Glove Love? Nah, bro. If you in love, bro, take the glove off, bro. On me, you gotta take that shit off, bro. Yep. Let me make sure I got all my missions done, bro. What do you mean I messed up, bro? I had no, I, all my options were grayed out. I couldn't do anything. What's with the helmets, Tally? Are all quarians shy? Or do you not believe in letting outsiders see your faces? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. Naturally. Anything that isn't constantly challenged grows weak. It's a bar. He, he knew he dropped the domer. That's why nobody said anything after that. That was a fire domer. Anything that isn't challenged grows weak. Dash Rex. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Wow. Thank you, sir. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Right. What is this about, bro? This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. They know how you feel about Saren. You too emotionally invested, bro. I know what it is. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. We know. They were considering me for the Spectres. You hid it from me. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Mm. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What about Saren? Tell me more. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Okay. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. I saw the vision. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. 
You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Are you so f job, bro. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. My renegade went up two points. I'm not even sure what that means, actually. Let me see the squad. Okay, so Paragon and Renegade. Oh, so I, I met. Okay, so I think the way it works is like the higher your Paragon, the more those blue options show up. That's why I failed. Because I'm like, bro, my charm is low key max, but it's not. I want, I want Garrus back, bro. Rex kind of, I don't know. The Geth have attacked the world of Pharos. Your primary objective is to go to Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he was sent. Why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. The council has received reports of Geth interest in the corporate research. Okay, so Nevo, Neveria and Pharaohs got Geth activity. Then we got Liara Tassoni, a Nasari archaeologist. Oh, if it's a Nasari, I gotta pull up on her first, bro. Because I might be able to do something strange with her. A Nasari archaeologist famed for her knowledge of the Protheans is being sought by Saren. Her last known location was somewhere in the Artemis Tau cluster. Oh yeah, we got we got to go there first, bro. Um, okay, hold on. So, okay, let's knock out all these first. That might take up the whole rest of the stream, but we'll start there, bro. Um, not supposed to be here. Nothing but a dream. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Does it feel wrong? I want him to explain why it feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's uh, open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Be honest with your crew, sir. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Humanity must do its part. Yep, that's that's the truth right there, bro. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. No, no, no. We already know they're about to press in and do damage, bro. But humanity must do its part. I for mean. too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Absolutely, bro. Saren cannot hide. You got to end with a fire ass declaration. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Yep. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. Yep. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We have no other options. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Oh my gosh, the way he said cost right there. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Oh my gosh. Bro, he looks he looks terrifying, bro. Whatever he says go, bro. Joker, you might want to watch out. That is bloodlust in his eyes. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Oh my yes, gosh. Sir. I got the swaggiest Mass Effect character of all time, bro. New space travelers ask, what does it look like outside a ship moving at faster than light speed? Part of the, oh, oops. Part of the answer can be seen in a simple pane of glass. Light travels slower through glass than it does through open air. Light also moves slower in conventional space than it does in a high speed mass effect field. This causes refraction. Any light entering at any angle is bent and separated, don't care. 
the codex be telling me stuff like but low key bro what if somebody on the mass effect team has like insider info on like what the government really do behind the scenes like and they'd be putting it in codexes for people who they wouldn't do that right they wouldn't do that right if anyone has to take over for captain anderson i'm glad it's you thank you I'm sir not sure about having non-humans on our ship though that's a little um what is it what do you call that xenophobic is that what that is loki loki bro is that xenophobe bro let me look at what that word means xenophobic means dislike or prejudice against people from other countries the no that's not what that means i'm gonna say uh what does it mean to be prejudiced against alien life forms speciesism so a species we've been saying it right they're on our side bro we're all on the same team here presley with all due respect sir that's what they said about nihilus look how that turned out i'm about to press him i'm in charge here presley i decide if we have non-humans on this vessel yes sir understood sir i don't even care to carry on presley oh yes sir yep yep you, you're gonna have to like slow your roll pimp slow your roll bro what the hell is this over here more codex Oh, I gotta walk over here, got it. Supposedly constructed by the long existent Protheans. This colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Welcome to the Metaverse. I gotta look at my journal real quick. Hold on. All right. While on the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos Row. Argos Row Hydra system. Argos Row Hydra system. Argos Row Hydra system. Whoops. Argos Row Hydra system. Argos Row Hydra System. Argos Row Hydra System. There it is. Yep. This is actually crazy, bro. You know what Commander Shepard probably thinking right now as he flies away? He's probably thinking, I'm not supposed to be here. Are we living in a dream? Are we living in a dream? All right, Hydra system. I'm not sure where to go first. I wish I could look at my journal right now. I guess I just gotta go to each one and... Seba is a standard Neptune type gas giant. The upper cloud decks of its hydrogen helium atmosphere tinted a dramatic blue by traces of methane. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. We don't know what that means, bro. They are. They are is a large gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium in its atmosphere. It also has a significant amount of all right, bro. bro, 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 bro. I'm just trying to land somewhere and help the homie out. You know what I mean? Survey. 
Scans of the planet can reveal dangerous levels of radiation coming from orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted further scans and discovered the remains of an ancient warhead marked with the Parthia colony insignia. When can I land, bro? Like, aren't I supposed to be... Message coming in. Patching it through. Here we go. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. An emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. We found it. Warning, level two heat hazard. Met ghosts. It's a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. Bro, land, bro. This motherfuckers is dying there. Um. He, I gotta bring Ashley, bro. This is about to get active. I'm gonna bring, um, I'm gonna bring, uh, what's my squad look like? So I'm good at biotics and combat. So is Rex. I gotta bring Garrus for this. This is fire, boy. What the hell? Ooh. What? What? You cannot exit the Mako unless it's parked and on level terrain. On my way. Oh, what the heck? I don't even know where to go, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Pump Crips, Pump Crips said Rocket League? Some Rocket League would be fire right now, bro. I gotta, I gotta put a dent in this story, bro. I'll do all the sides, and then I'm gonna see if the homies trying to play Rocket League. Still, I think they're playing right now, actually. Are we living in a dream? Survey mineral. What are we doing this for? We have successfully surveyed a large deposit of thorium. Oh my gosh, 200 ducats? Just I'll, lead the way. I'll do it every time. The signal's coming from that down ship. Careful. I've got a bad feeling about this. Garrus is my right hand, bro. Like, Garrus is cool, bro. Geth, it's a trap. Geth where? Geth where? Oh, you can get f***ed up, bro. He chose the wrong one, bro. He chose the wrong one, bro. I should overheat it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, chose the, you chose the wrong one, bro. You chose the wrong one on the right day. You feel me, bro? Like, I'm here, bro. Yep. Yep. Get out the sky. Get out the sky. No ain't on shit. Get lit up. Get sat down. Yep. Yep. I'm here to help the homies, bro. I can't just run you over. Matter of fact, I can. That's great for me. Look at this. Get stomped on, bitch. Yep. 100 points. GTA 5. I missed. Great. Yep. Easy work. Easy work, y'all. We do this, bro. On my way. So that was just a <clears throat> All right, that wasn't even what I was supposed to be here for Look at the map. Oh, bro. Do I have a map like I could just I mean I see the map in the oh here we go. Thank you, bro Anomaly Ah. Thank you, 
bro. S sweatshirt shorty said, well, here go the motion sickness. It's just a wave of ass coming at y'all, bro. <laughs> Uh, a Saren said, what happened so far? I had to make dinner. Well, uh, when I started the stream, damn it. When I started the stream, right, um, I went to the council and they presented that clip that we had found, right? Remember my baby Tally? She had that clip of, uh, of uh, basically Saren saying Eden Prime was a victory. It's like, bro, what you mean Eden Prime a victory, bro? And they attacked they attacked uh one of our human settlements like what are you talking about so the council was like oh nah bro spec uh uh sarah inspector privileges friends bro no longer a specter right so then they're like well what do you think he was there for so we're like so i'm like bro i had a whole vision of this nigga bro i had a whole vision bro and it was the reapers coming back bro the reapers destroying the protheans because remember i had that vision in the past right so I, I try and tell the council, I'm like, bro, I had a vision, bro. The Reapers are coming back. That's why the Geth are here, because they think the Reapers are like gods, like modern day gods. The council's like, bro, the Reapers are a myth, bro. You smoking that good banyan coming up to this meeting talking about Reapers. I'm like, bro, the Reapers are not gone. Why do you think, or you was already, you was already wrong. Like you didn't think Saren was a traitor and he's a traitor. So I'm like, bro, look, look, look. We know that they're going to the Traverse because that's where the, that's where the conduit is. And mind you, the conduit, right? The conduit is needed in order to bring the Reapers back. And if you notice, right, when we had first found the beacon, Saren was doing that weird ritualistic worship shit, bro. And that's him basically being a prophet for the Geth to bring the Reapers back. So basically, Saren is working with the Geth, right, to bring the Reapers back and basically destroy the universe and like power hungry. And I'm like, they didn't want to bring a Citadel fleet to the Traverse because they're like, bro, the Traverse is the ghetto, bro. We're not bringing our pristine, our pristine troops to the hood, bro. And I'm like, you know what? I'll go. I'll go to the Traverse. And you know what they said after that, bro? They was like, you know what? Human Shepherd, you are good enough for the Spectres, bro. And they gave me a whole ceremony and I became a Spectre. So now I'm doing side quests before I go Traverse the traverse you get what i'm saying and i get more leads on where saren could be and where the conduit could be because right now i'm just doing side missions got him got him while searching the wreckage you found a uh, very old letter stamp with the gothis colony insignia unfortunately the text is indecipherable why did I come all the way up here? Is this what I'm supposed to be? Oh my gosh. Valuable minerals. Keep searching for more elements and minerals as you, as you travel, survey any that you find. Keep searching until you have lost, uh, hold on. Several Turian outposts and colonies were destroyed during the Unification War. Each colony insignia also disappeared. Keep searching until you have all the lost insignias. Man, I don't, I don't care about these insignias, bro. Human, humans up, bro. The Milky Way galaxy contains 200 to 400 billion stars, most with a host of planets. The there, are, there are between two and 400 billion stars in the galaxy, and less than 1% of them have ever been visited or had their systems properly surveyed. The term Let's just let's just ponder on that for a second, bro. I need him to repeat that. There are between 2 and 400 billion stars in the galaxy, and less than 1% of them have ever been visited or had their systems properly surveyed. So I'm going to need y'all to stop stressing out about life, okay? We haven't even tapped into the 400 billion stars in the universe. We've only seen 1%, bro. So everything that you are stressing about right now in the grand scheme really don't matter, bro. Have fun, live life, be yourself. Be your best self, right? You ain't got much time here and when it's over, bro, you better hope you drop some fire like Shakespeare did, you know? Otherwise you won't be remembered. People will only remember how you made them feel most of the time, bro. They don't, they don't care about what you did. Right, right or wrong, bro. Nobody gives a f bro. 
leave your mark on the planet and then disintegrate bro and hope that your kids carry on a legacy bro that's all we can do that's all we can do bro drop a hamlet bro drop a hamlet nothing else matters in the grand scheme let's continue there are between two and four hundred billion stars in the galaxy and less than one percent of them have ever been visited or had their systems properly surveyed that's the galaxy that's going up what about down bro we got a whole ocean that we can see right now we don't have to get the get the space stations in the sky bro we could go swimming down now bro with scuba gear what do you think that percent is bro i think that just removed that one to about 0.2 live your life determine there are between two and four hundred billion that shot that shot galaxy, doing damage bro and less than one percent of them have ever been visited or had their systems properly surveyed humanity's early expansion into the attican traverse was haphazard a desperate race to claim habitable planets where populations can be economically settled ignored in the wake of this land grab were thousands of less hospitable worlds each potentially rich with industrial resources the wealth of entire solar systems lies untapped, waiting for corporate survey teams or independent pioneers to discover and exploit them. However, this is not an easy task. In addition to the environmental hazards, the fact that uncharted worlds are largely ignored makes them popular bases for criminals, revolutionaries, cults, and others who wish to remain unnoticed by galactic society. The all right, all right. Citadel space is an unofficial term referring to any region of space controlled by a species that acknowledges the authority of the Citadel Council. Okay. At first glance, it appears this territory encompasses most of the galaxy. In reality, however, less than 1% of the stars have been explored. Even Mass Effect FTL drive is slow relative to the volume of the galaxy. Empty space and systems without suitable drive discharge sites are barriers to exploration. Only the mass relays allow ships to jump hundreds of light years in an instant, the key to expanding across an otherwise impassable galaxy. Whenever a new relay is activated, the destination system is rapidly developed. From that hub, FTL drive is used to expand to nearby star clusters. The result is a number of densely developed clusters, thinly spread across the vast expanse of space, Connected. At about the time the Salarians and Asari were forming the council, the Turians were embroiled in a bitter civil war. The Unification War, as it was later named, began with hostiles between the colonies furthest, furthest from the Turian homeland, Palavin. These colonies were run by local chieftains, many of whom had distanced themselves from the hierarchy. Uh, hold on, hold on. Where did I go? Without the galvanizing influence of government, the colonies became increasingly isolated and xenophobic. Colonists began wearing emblems or facial markings to differentiate themselves from members of the other colonies, and open hostilities became common. When war finally broke out, the hierarchy maintained strict diplomacy and refused to get involved. After several years of fighting, less than a dozen factions remained, and the hierarchy finally intervened. By then, the chieftains were too weak to resist. They were forced to put an end to the fighting and renew their allegiance to the hierarchy. No peace was restored. It took several decades for animosity between colonists to fade completely. To this day, most Turians still wear the facial markings of their home colonies. As a point of interest, the Turian, the Turian term barefaced refers to one who was beguiling, beguiling or not be trusted. It is also slang term for politicians. Okay. So when they got the thing, okay, hold on, bro. Let me read this one more time. These colonies were run by local chieftains, many of whom had distanced themselves from the hierarchy. What the hell is the hierarchy about? Like, where do we? All right. OK, so basically the ones who are like, I want to stay with Turians wore face paint. And the ones who wash the face paint off are like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm one of you. I'm one of you. Let me join the Citadel. The alliance is the government and military humanity behind Seoul. I don't care too much about that. I don't care too much about that either. All right. This, the, is it Slim Press? The Slim Press said, I never knew this game was so deep, bro. Me neither, bro. It's just, it's just kind of, it's just kind of cool to get lost in this universe, you know? Let's 
dropped 2007. I'm happy to play that third one, bro. Number th number three is about to be heat. Yo, Chris, Chris XLXL. My day is going great, bro. How's yours, man? I hope that you're having a good one, bro. My boy Spooky with the 100 bits. Yo, B, did you know that we will not live long enough to see our galaxy merge with another? That would be a crazy sight to see. Bruh. Bruh, I don't even know what that would look like or what that even means, bro. That's actually insane, bro. I think, well, I think the most that we'll see in our lifetime is like... I don't know. When it comes to space, bro, I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Bro, I need to see an alien, bro. Like a non-man-made alien, bro. On some, on some Mars attacks, bro. Milky Way will collide with Andromeda at some point. Bro. No, 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 no. I brought, I brought electronic skilled people, though. I brought skilled people. Head to the Sentry system in the Hawking ETA cluster and invest. Bro, no, 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 no. I, I'm here. I'm here. What's going on? <sighs> you gotta switch to to tail and play as her. Oh, to, to tally. I could have done that. I'm so done. Next. You discover a strange Terrence mission discussing some more sort of biotic commune. Head to the Sentry system in the Hawking ETA cluster. Sentry system, Hawking ETA. No, you can't swap. Okay, that's what I'm. That's what I thought. I'm like, what? Sentry system, Hawk ETA. Sentry system. Yep, there it is. We are we doing the damn thing, bro? We doing the Message thing, Message coming bro. in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. I already knew. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I already know, bro, but let's hear what you... Let, let's just press him anyway. Always got to play devil's advocate. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Corny. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Narcissist. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier. But something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Yo, y'all might want to put a poll in the chat for if I, uh, <laughs> bro, bro, actually, actually, I don't even know if this is possible, but 
there's no telling bro there's no telling if i'm gonna do this without violence or not i'm gonna try and do this without violence but maybe you can do like a will berlin do this uh non-violence or not i don't know how you do that though maybe it's like a game a poll i don't even know if that's a poll because you're just you're just guessing if i'm gonna do it or not but i'm gonna try to do it non-violently a prediction there we go a prediction I'm doing this non-violently, bro. I got this. I'm gonna bring Ashley though, just in case shit pop off. Biotics. I need I need I need more biotics actually. Um I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring my biotics actually. We're gonna need to fight fire with fire. Come on, Caden, bitch ass nigga. Let's go, y'all. Danielle is back with a don't know. Y'all remember Danielle, right? Saren's girl. Here we go. When you get to Saren, don't be too hard on him. I love him, and we are planning on starting a family soon. Thank you for understanding. Oh my gosh, bro. Ugh. Gold Deaths with the 10 bits. Thank you, y'all. I think there's a heavy cannon on the make on the Mako. If you press RB. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Thank you for that one. Let's check the map. Um, anomaly. Let's go here. It's our first one. Mass Effect is bootleg Halo. Bro, Halo could never have a campaign like this, bro. What the fuck is that, y'all? Huh? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Did y'all think his health is going to regenerate? I'm not supposed to be here. There you go. Bro, I'm nice, bro. Get body. And I got paid for that. Yep, I'll do this, bro. Big dubs in the chat, bro. Ain't, ain't shit. Ain't nothing, bro. I do this, bro. Yep. yep. Real, real, real gamer. Real gamer, bro. Yep. Yep, Kia. Thank you, Kia. Yep. Real gamer. Yep. My car is fried.
I mean, not one, but I don't know. It don't really feel like one. Sensei Pandas with the four months. Big body. Absolutely he was, bro. Wow. Jerry Berry with the 200 bits. Thank you so much. Tally's face isn't in the game, period. I'm trying to get you on before she switched lanes to Laria, bro. Oh my gosh. Here, 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 here. Y'all wanna see y'all wanna see Tally's face so bad, bro? Tally Zora face. Bro, 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 Dang, bro, I, I I know not to tell the, the chat any any secrets, bro. Like, but bro, but bro, bro, Google it, bro, Google it, bro. Oh, bro, 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 trust me, bro. Like, bro, clearly there was a whole cutscene that you could see her face. You're talking about you can't see her see her face in the in the game. You could if you kept it pee like me. I'm getting that cutscene, y'all. I'm not supposed to. No. Oh my gosh, I landed that. Like, I'm getting a cutscene, bro. Ancient debris. Recover this. Easy work, easy work. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got it. I'm easy. Uh, uh, easy work. Digging under the beacon revealed a piece of scrap metal, likely from a very old freighter. It was marked on one side with a Macedon outpost insignia. Don't give a damn, bro. I'm here on a mission. What kind of terrain do you need, bro? Let me out the car. Thank you. front of the rover is crumpled in from impact a glance inside tells you the occupants probably a team of illegal wildcat miners are dead debris is still sliding down the furrows left by its tires silent in the near vacuum atmosphere oh gosh yes sir on your order let's get moving Yo, Starnard, I feel the same way, bro. That, that like, like, bro, he should have dropped that one instead of whatever, whatever other song he. I don't even remember the other track, bro. That dream, bro, that dream speaks to me, bro. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh yeah, he sold his soul. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Right, bro, if you, if you don't drop the video for a dream, bro. This is looking, uh, this is look, this is looking bad for me right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is looking bad for me right now. We need more momentum. That jumping is horrible. That jumping is horrible. There you go, bro. Muscle, 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 muscle. Nice. Nice, bro. If I was Kyle and I saw me coming over the hill like this, I'm using this as an example of why not to trust me. Like, look at these human, look at, these, look at humanity, these fools. 
Like, imagine this is coming to stop you, bro. This shit right here. I'm shooting immediately, bro. I'm telling all my biotics to just, yeah, like, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. The wheel f***ed up. No, sir, bro. No, sir, bro. Worry about your own compounds, man. Your own mancos, bro. I'm cool. Heading out. At ease, at ease, at ease, at ease. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. All right, all right. Get your predictions in, bro. Get your predictions. Is it starting? Every decision matter, bro. I'm here to help. Alliance officers are dead. You can't keep me out. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. Got him. He needs my help. Got him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. I know you said far end of the compound, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't lose, bro. Good stop. Good defense. Oh, yeah, we're taking all that. I got you, squad. I got you, bros. I got you, bros. Yep, yep. Go ahead and equip that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what bro got. Yep. Convert that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something for you, too, Rex. Relax, Rex. I got you, too, bro. I'm um, go ahead and switch off for this striker, bro. Yep. Yep. Sell that. Yep. Easy licks, y'all. Yep. Everything's all good, sir. Everything's all good. Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. Father Kyle got y'all on humanity member, uh, humanity uh, intellect, bro. Level up your consciousness, bro. The Alliance sent assassins to kill Father Kyle. But we stopped them. Father Kyle says we biotics have to stick together. Are you sick? Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. Why y'all both got this? Father Kyle need to let y'all boo-boo already, bro. Y'all holding it in clearly. Listen to y'all voice. Father Kyle said we need to stick together. Oh, God. Like, bro, I heard that. About to switch out. Yep. Yep. Father Kyle don't know what's about to hit him. Square in the chest. Uh, my man uses shotgun, so go ahead and hand him the scimitar. Yep. Yep. Hand him the scimitar and um Kaden. Kaden, you can take this piece of hurricane. You're not gonna do nothing with it. I'm gonna keep those other guns for, for my squad. Salarian's the League of One. Before they joined the Citadel Council, the Salarian's most potent military tool was a small reconnaissance team known as the League of One. Fake ass uh, injustice, like, I mean, not injustice, in invincible. Their primary training was in an espion it was in espionage and assassination, assassination, okay? Never more than a dozen strong. The team was adept at infiltrating the tightest defenses and eliminating all necessary obstacles. Only a few top members of government and military were privy to the League's identities. League members were, wore no distinguishing garments and held no particular rank. The only evidence of their participation in the League was a small medallion presented to each member upon induction. Okay, so like a little, okay, okay, a little Justice League, little Marvel Avengers, you know. This secrecy was maintained until the formation of the Council. In an effort to dispel rumors and appease their new Asari partners, the Salarian Union released all classified documents pertaining to the League. Oh, the Salarians is sellouts, bro. The League of One was suddenly exposed and in, in, and in danger of being hunted by enemies of the Salarians. Before any harm could be done, the team mysteriously disappeared. Most assumed this was a convenient lie to help hide their identities, but a few months later, the inner cabinet was murdered. Damn. Though there was no incriminating evidence, it was clear who was responsible. Realizing the threat posed by this rogue outfit, the special task group, the STG, dispatched a team of hunters. When they didn't return, the STG dispatched 10 of its brightest operators with broad discretionary powers. Only two returned. 
they reported no evidence of the league. Oh yeah, bro. No, the the league the league killed the last killed the first eight. They took the they took the last two and sent them home, bro, and said you don't speak of this. The league don't play. No further incidents were reported, and it was assumed the league was wiped out. Some recently declassified documents, however, have suggested there may have been a 13th member who eluded the Salarian military. I wonder what brought this on. Like, how did I find out about this codec? What did I click, bro? Major Kyle. Make your way through the compound to find Major Kyle. Okay, yep. Bro, who, who trying to, who trying to do the League of One in our, in uh, real life, y'all? The Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. Who, who trying to join the League of One, bro? I'll start it up again right now. I got me, um, Pumpkin probably gonna join. Um, I was talking to her about this actually yesterday. Y'all scared the shit out of me, low key. Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. Go ahead and take these from me. You don't need these. Thank you. Go ahead and loot this too. Alvy, you gonna join? Okay. Gold Dez said, nah, I like my life. Okay, bro. When shit hit the fan, don't be screaming out, League! League! Because we not gonna listen, bro. We gonna be cool and doing assassination jobs, like making bread. Like, I don't want to hear shit from you, bro. I promise we won't hear you, bro. We're tuning you out. Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. Yeah, we know. Yep, bro. Don't please when I start this Mukuro Ikusaba bullshit, bro. Why is that the same plot as the last 13th member of the league? Do y'all not know how to open doors? Ugh, two Medi gels. Yep, easy. Wait, where's my team at? Where's Rex? What did Caden do to Rex? I can't stand Caden, bro. Control room. What is he doing, bro? William William SJG came back in the chat and said, Rex with me. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, bro. You got Rex really Rex is right here, bro. Glitching, bro. What did you do to him, bro? You paralyzed Rex, bro. You had him toot you up. He 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 tossed your salad and then you did something strange to him and now he can't walk right, bro. CG, CJ, 2KSC, thank you so much for running the biz, bro. He said, how you feel about the Rams? I'm going to be honest, bro. I just supported the Rams because they was from LA at the time. I really don't watch football like that. <laughs> bro, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't really care for sports. I care for space, travel, and, and gaming. Like, that's just my shit, bro. And that, that's just me. That's just what the I like. Alliance wants to wipe us out. Father Kyle told us. I couldn't tell you anything about the Rams, bro. I like certain players because they nerds on the low, you know, but other than that, like, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I probably lost a large percentage of my male viewers with that one, bro. Let me try again. Now nah, the Rams was cool. Didn't they get like three home runs today when they was playing against, um, um, who was that, bro? It was, uh, I think he had Vince, Vince McMahon, at, Vince, Vince McMahon as quarterback, right? He got like three, uh, three strikes, no spares, bro. That was actually that shit was a crazy, uh, a crazy set yesterday. Didn't that nigga LeBron do a Batista bomb off the top ropes? Yo, LeBron is the goat, bro. Always been the goat. Always had major respect for Bron Bron, bro. If I ever meet him, bro, bro, I'm hitting him with one of these, bro. You the goat, bro. You the goat, bro. Yep. Yep, you the goat, bro. I would love to see Braun in the ring, probably with somebody, um, 
more of his stature, like like Francis. I think I think Bron could take Francis on some real shit. Respect to Bron and the whole Bron camp, bro. All the sons and his and his lovely wife, bro. I I I I, I f with the fan, bro. On me, they all great uh, roller skaters. I, I I think Bronny can do can do four wheel and in line on some real shit. Bronny gonna watch this and be like, "Shut the f up." I think we found him. I think we found the doc, bro. Lean with it, rock with it, said, you chilling, bro. I don't watch sports either. You know what I'm saying, bro? Different strokes, different folks, bro, you know? Ogre said, Brownie not watching this. You don't know what Brownie like. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Cause you look like a, cause you look like a salamander, bro. And I hate that for humanity. I gotta kill you. What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. I don't want to kill you, bro. You can still get out of this alive, Major. Surrender and nobody will get hurt. I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. I f***ed up. I f***ed up, bro. We didn't even get the prediction going, but whatever it was, whoever, whoever voted with me, y'all lost, bro. I can't stop this. There's nothing I can do, bro. I gotta fight. I gotta fight, You're bro. not leaving me much choice, Major. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must die. <laughs> oh my god! Commander Shepard about that action, bro. Why did I bring Caden with me, bro? I knew I should have brought Ashley. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all y'all got this twisted, bro. First thing I'm gonna do, use my barrier. Yep, shield, shield, shield on 10. Shield on 10, right? Then, then watch what I do. I adrenaline burst, bro. Yep. Turned up. Now I'm turned up maximum, right? I turned up maximum. I already got, I already got my, uh, my, my mapped uh, warp. Watch what I do here. Warped everybody, right? I warped everybody. Now I'm about to, now I'm about to really hit them where it hurt. Everybody get tossed. I'm about to die still. Heal, heal, heal. What's up with my right arm? What's up with my right arm, bro? This game kind of sucks. This game kind of sucks, bro. Like, uh, I didn't even save. I have to do it all over again. I have to do it all over again. Oh my gosh, bro. It sucks, bro. No, it's all good, bro. It's all good, bro. Because, because again, again, LeBron is going to... LeBron, is, LeBron one day will dominate the gaming scene and he's going to watch this back. And the fact that like, you know, we get, we, you know, we, we put that plug in there. He might see it one day, you know, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like he might see it. So now I get a chance to really like swag out on this next run. I don't want, I don't want Bron to see that one. I don't want Bron to see that one, bro. I don't want Bron to see that one, bro. I want Bron to see that one, bro. I feel like I low low key. I feel like I feel like Bryce might be the gamer in the family, bro. I, I think Bryce might be the gamer, bro. Me and Bryce would get along. I feel like Bryce when when he about when he about 20, 26 and I'm about 30, 30, 30, 39, 39, 30, 39, 40. 
We're gonna have to run up. We're gonna have to run up some gaming. We're gonna have to run up some gaming, bro. We'll probably be VR by then, like Space Jam 2, you know? This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. Damn, you finna be old. Yo. Yo, Cookie Sweet. What's funny about you saying that is you missed my whole point, bro. It's all good, bro. Now, now I have an opportunity to do to do this right. Let me talk to, to Major talk Kyle. To in charge. Father Kyle. I don't get. I don't. I'm here, here to help, sir. He needs my help, Father sir. Kyle yep. Let me in here. Actually, actually, uh, damn, there's some good weapons in here. I don't want to do this all over. Yo, Rex, just struggle with the shotgun you got, bro. Ronnie is in phase. Okay, well, well, Bryce can be in just in some bros. Like Bryce can be in some bros, bro. Respect the phase. They got a great thing going, but like this, this some bros time. I oh, mean, okay, good call, y'all. Yep, say good call, good call. Bryce can be in some bros. Pause. Oh my gosh, bro. Don't 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 clip that. Shit. Don't I don't need I don't need bro to see that. Don't don't clip that, shit, bro. Please. Upgrade your charm. What that mean, bro? Oh, upgrade my. Oh, y'all got your real gamers in the chat. Real gamers in the chat. I have no points. Did y'all know that? Or you just wanted? All right. You niggas know I didn't have any level up XP, and you talking about upgrade charm? Y'all crazy for that? <laughs> I don't know where to go. Rex doesn't deserve this, I read. <laughs> Y'all kill me, bro. Rex, keep your shotgun out, bro. Oh, he he does. Okay, my fault. Where's Garrus? Right. Like, why did I bring this clown Caden with me? I am Major Kyle. I know. I know why you've come. Oh, no, you don't, sir. I have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just- I'm not here to fight you, sir. What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. We know. I did what I could to make them. We know. Their end They're not safe, though, bro. You're, we're not trying to hear uh, that. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Absolutely. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Right. Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? A lot of them. I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. I didn't come here to listen to a madman's preaching. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must die. Jaeger. Here we go, here we go. Grenade on grip. Grenade, grenade, grenade. I don't have any nades. I don't have any nades. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Use barrier. I need some help here. Okay, now, what does warp do? Damages all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable. Okay, use warp. Uh... Oh, you gotta pick a player. Okay, so use her, cause she has more, yep. Okay, so she's been warped. I'm about to die though. Okay, I use the med gel, okay. What is marks, marksman? Increases, yep, okay, use marksman. Okay, marksman's activated. And now, map throw, right, map throw. Throw her to the ground, nice. Okay, when of y'all do something, bro? Uh, Sab, what is, use, Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Throw her. Okay. Okay. And, and Rex has a warp. We gonna warp her. And now we shoot. And now we shoot. And now we shoot. And now we shoot. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. I can't heal. I can't heal. I can't heal. Is that Rex slept? Rex, you're garbage, bro.
What is overload? Damages and yeah, yeah. Use overload, y'all. Use use overload, bro. I mean over overload, bro. Okay, good hit. Good hit. All right, sabotage is overheat. Yep. Sabotage them. Yep. Let's go. Let's go, Kaden. Nice, Kaden. Rex, get your ass up, bro. I'm never taking Rex on another mission, bro. This is the result of William getting his salad. I'm not even finna finish that sentence, bro. My mom would be disappointed. That Patron thought it had me, bro. But William, you're the reason that you're the reason Rex is still asleep, bro. Save? Okay, good. I can't save in combat. I could do that too, bro. I could do that too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he thought he, he thought he did something with that one. He, where's my throw at? Where's my throw? Oh, throw recharge. It's all good. Rex, wake your dumb ass up, boy. Wake up, boy. William, bro, why would you send him back over here? Now I'm ready. The sad part is, bro, it's not even Rex salad that was tossed, bro. Rex did the salad toss. This dude, William, hopped in the chest, said, I would love for Rex to toss mine, bro. That's what he said, bro. Who was that? That's the craziest part, bro. Don't, bro, do not scream Ricky for Rex, bro. Ricky went out like a G. Rex went out because he's, bro, because he's, he's drained, bro. What did I just get hit with? I gotta be more careful. Shut your ass up, bro. Don't talk to me. What is this music, bro? Black Mirror ass music. I have no nades. Okay, Kaden. Okay, Kaden. Yo, Kaden, press up. Press up on him, Kaden. Kaden, press up on him. Press up, bro. Kaden, press up, bro. Kaden, press up, bro. Kaden. Now I'm ready. I'm gonna run up and throw his ass, bro. I missed. Contact. Bro, why is he fighting this good, bro? Caden, ah. finish that, bro. Fin fin finish that job, bro. Caden, finish the job, bro. Caden, press up, bro. Oh my gosh, man. I can't save in combat, y'all. Caden, please press up, bro. Press up, Caden. Oh my gosh, you scary, bro. Caden, 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 press up, Caden. Finish her, Caden. Nice, bro. Negative contacts, Commander. And now I can save. I look in the chat. Logra says, "Finish the job, Berlin." The thing about finishing the job, honestly, bro. I'm not supposed to be here. So it's like, why do I have to finish it, bro? I'm not even, you know. We still getting wrecked some good items on the way out, though. That's that's what's nifty about this whole mission, bro. Like Rex is still getting. Oh my gosh, Rex! You really came back from a booty eating mission, bro. Prior to this, booty booty eating side quest. And it's, and it's a member of the f easy gang, bro.
Rex's new name is the Booty Bandit, bro. And he just left the booty buffet. Like bro said in the chat. Ananda. Oh, Ananda, that was you that said that? Nah, bro. You didn't see that flying down the hallway, Caden? Both of y'all press up. Both of y'all press up now. Nah, Rex, you go up there. Bro, Rex, you, you, you. There you go, Rex. There you go, Rex. Don't worry. I got y'all with a, I got y'all with a warp. I got y'all with a warp. And I got y'all with a throw. I got, I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. Oh my gosh. He sat down. I had a nade and I just wasted it. Great. Rex was famished. Nah, bro, he had plenty to eat, bro. Ask William. I never want to come back to this planet again. I'm going in here. I'm, I'm looting everything, bro. Rex gonna be slumped again? I hope not. I wonder if they're going to be friendly in here, bro. If they have no clue what happened across the hall. And I got a medi gel. Let's go. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke. I don't. Okay. Yep. yep. Smoke. 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 Found me. We gotta go. We gotta go. Gotta we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Kane kind of showing out on this mission, bro. Kane kind of showing out, bro. What is neural shock? Stuns organic enemies for a moment? Bro, use more powers. Shield boost. Marksman. Hey, okay, map, bro. Caden being extra. Nah, nah. Caden earning that check right now, bro. Hayden earning that check, bro. I wish Rex would be more extra, bro. Rex playing like a like a custer, bro. I need help. I need help. Is that Caden? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Caden earning his keep right now. Yep. Killer Caden, bro. That's his new name, bro. KK. Yep. Gotta get my damn, bro. Yo, KK, handle that, bro. Look at Caden go, bro. Caden putting in that work, bro. I had him all wrong. Why you hating on Rex? There's always one, bro. It don't matter how much of a villain somebody proved themselves to be. There's always going to be somebody else. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Get off my boy, Rex. Like Rex, Rex literally was slumped the whole first engagement, bro. Just like that, we out, bro. Yo, Rex, every gun I was going to give you, bro, consider that oh, yeah. cadence. Rex gets Berlin kind of specious low key. Justice for Rex. Get back to the Mako, bro. Like, y'all really. <laughs> it's all good, though. Berlin about Paragon and Renegade. The middle. Oh, oh, he's telling me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Berlin about Paragon and Renegade. The middle dialogue choices give you neutral. The upper dialogue options, they give you Paragon. And the very bottom dialogue gives options, options give you Renegade. There's also a Paragon glitch you can do on a side quest if you haven't completed it already. Okay, bye. That's the thing is like, it's almost like it benefits you to, to either play all Paragon or all um, Renegade then. I'm trying to play it level headed and I end up losing side quests like this. Return to the Normandy. Major Kyle couldn't be reasoned with. The only thing left to do is return to the Normandy and file the report. 
No problem, bro. You saying that like I care, bro? Smoked them all and got their weapons. I wish we could have left Rex. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. Who do I talk to yes, about sir. this mission? The comm room, maybe? I don't know who I report this mission to. Like, who do I file this report to, right? I'm going to let everybody know that Rex folded and why he folded, bro. Make sure to write down William in the, in the report. Real talk. First 25% of this game has no chill. Yo, Caden, good work back there, boy. Anything you need, Commander? Looking for personal input, okay. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings. Later. Oh my gosh, bro. Caden is a new man, bro. This man's about that business. What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Lieutenant Killer Caden, bro. Oh my gosh. Personnel manual. His lips crusty though. Y'all care too much about 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 this man's appearance, bro. He has no eyebrows. His lips crusty. He looked like Jamie Foxx. Bro, he's literally saving humanity, bro. Put some respect. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an alliance? We know. We know. We know. Go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Yo, where's Tally at? Where 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 Tally room? Where Tally room? Where Tally room? <laughs> where's Tally's room? <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Bro, you lucky I can't pull up my weapon. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no ah. story. This y'all king? Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. This y'all king? Bro, don't be an ass. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. Us being... It's not the same. Bro, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this, could, this could be a cool combo. Of course it is, bro. Actually, sure it is. It seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? Yeah, yeah, bro. An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? I don't know about that. And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? All right, bro. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Hey, sorry, bro. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. Damn. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. I'm actually sorry for Rex. That's that that's sad, bro. You meet people like this and then you start to understand like why they are the way they are. Like Rex. 
Rex, you probably needed that nap, bro. You probably needed that nap, bro. And honestly, you probably needed that visit from William, too. Real shit. So, I understand. I understand, bro. At least, at least you got to enjoy some part of this life, bro. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. You should apologize to him. I just did, MJ. I look in the chat. It's Vinny. Yo niggas busted, bro. Ha <laughs> ha. He's clean to me, so. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. Ugh. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's uh hold on, hold on. How are we doing right bro? What? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later though. What duties? I'm a I'm a specter. What duties, bro? Don't I give you I saw good. What's your opinion on the last mission? Kinda wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, sir. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. We never trained to fight synthetics. The Geth haven't gone beyond the Vale in three centuries. Our training's supposed to make us able to adapt. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. What the f What you mean we'll talk, bro? Where's, where's Tally, bro? I wasn't even looking for you. I could care less how she feels. Oh yeah, bro. Garrett's coming to the cookout, bro. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CC. Garrett's for sure coming to the cookout. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at, at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Garrett's probably bringing the most crisp, fresh crickets to the cookout, bro. You already know Garrett's bringing the, bringing the crickets. Probably bringing fre fresh soil um, to put underneath your feet when you're sitting down. Gazer. Probably um, bringing, I don't even know, Berlin. Every time I look in the chat, it's about the eyebrows. That's crazy. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Nah, facts. Being a specter does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. C-Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside c -Sec. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without c -Sec headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. I'm not even mad at that. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. I, tr I, I trust Garrus with my life, bro. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? I'll take some. What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. I knew he was going to I knew he was going to try this, bro. You're on my ship. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. 
Without the goods, I'm out of a job. That's what the license was for in the C-Sec store, bro. I gotta go back and grab that. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. You charge it more than they do in the C-Sec! He charged more than they do in C-Sec. This pistol sucks, sir. Get... Look at his wares. Look at his wares, y'all. I'll spit on your feet, bro. Your ah. suck, bro. Hey, Commander. You know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Okay? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. I didn't come down here for you at all, but I'm gonna still ask you. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. Let's go. My last assignment go, Tally. was on Let's Tokyo. go, Tally. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Let's go, Tally. The sexy ass everybody wanna be. I wanna know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Corps? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Fill me in on the IES stealth systems. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They right. get too much heat and radiation. Right, it's too right. Easy for sensors to pick them up. Okay. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. Mm, okay. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. Okay. Emissions to give away our location. Like a halo Eventually, bubble shield. Like a halo bubble shield. After a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us. A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long Kareem, as the stealth relax, are bro. engaged, they can't see. Us. <laughs> Not unless we accelerate. Kareem to said FTL the Halo speeds. bubble shield. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. There she go. In a sentimental mood. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. You'd be surprised. Nah, bro, don't do it. Don't I'm do starting it. to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Shot, swear, I didn't say shit, bro. I didn't say a thing, bro. I didn't say anything, bro. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea. Alliance vessels were so advanced. This ship's special. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. She comes from humble beginnings, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. She is a true queen, bro. Tally Zora, bro. Wally Zora, bro. Wally Wara, bro. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. You see her face in there, bro. But we don't have anything like this. 
We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Some of our fleets that was 300 years ago? I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Okay, okay. Okay, well, 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 well luckily for you, you might you, you might be able to bring back a husband if you play your cards right. You feel me? Because you're looking very smooth, Tally. You're looking very smooth. Everybody on the Normandy fuck with you. You got something everybody want, right? As I could tell, you're probably looking at us and thinking, please, please, y'all ain't my type. I got what everybody like. You feel me? Like, but, 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 but you chose, you chose the Spectre. You chose the Spectre and that's, that's not to be slept on. So, um, let me know if you need new batteries for your mask. Um, if you ever need WD-40 for your, um, for your mouthpiece and... I'm sure we can figure something out on me on Nifty's 50s. K-Rock with the 10 bits said, why he looking at her all angry and shit? Nah, bro, that, that's not anger, bro. That's a stoic smolder, bro. That's a stoic smolder. That's that's so that she doesn't think he's a goofball, bro. You know, you know women of her caliber don't go for funny guys, bro. They make funny guys pets, bro. He has to be on her level, bro. She need a battery pack? Berlin, she has a, she's a kid? Hold on, what do you mean by that? Tally Zora age. Tally, Zor Tally Zora N Nar Rea is 22 in Mass Effect 1, bro. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Can a captain choose to reject that the gift? It's not the best way to make I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. That's beautiful. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. 
What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. Don't they don't they do that if in China currently? Decline, like you, the like there is like a, a birth restriction. Impeded. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple Not anymore? Births. Oh, they Although used the to, okay. It hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Oh, the conclave hasn't had to take such measures in a century. That's your government. The conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative. Alviana, you a freak, bro. I, I saw that. She's like, ooh, incentives. On matters that you affect freak. an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiral Rex tapped that. No, he didn't, These bro. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I should go. See you later. I think I put in good work right there, bro. I think I put in good work, bro. I don't think she's had the opportunity to really, to really explain herself or express where she's coming from to anybody, bro, so...